Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so the messages will not resonate with every Pisces who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Right, so Six of Wands jumping out the deck. That's a good card. Victory, success. Success in business and home. Two of Swords. Got to make a decision. A lot of you could be getting recognition, um, getting a lot of attention. Make a decision surrounding something or someone or maybe a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Empress might be you getting all the attention. Uh, the basis for all of this is the Empress. Uh, she's a she's. She or he is beautiful, abundant, is the creationist. Uh, she's fertile in so many different aspects of life. Um, all right, three of swords in the recent past, seven of swords in the present, the chariot in the near future, king of cups, could be you, your power, four of swords external to you, Hopes and fears, Five of Cups, Outcome, Ace of Pentacles, Bottom of the Deck, Seven of Wands. Really nice energy. In the past, there was heartbreak, betrayal, divorce, separation. Presently, it's the Seven of Swords. Some of you could just be trying to devise a plan of action to move forward. You could be doing this in secret, or maybe there's a air sign doing this to you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have to make a decision because you're getting a lot of recognition or there's another person here. Someone's being arrogant. You want to move forward, though, with the chariot here. You could be dealing with a cancer. If not, in your power is you coming up as the king of cups. Grounded emotionally. External to you is the four of swords. Someone's resting in prayer, meditation. There could be sickness, illness here. For you or someone else, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy there. Hopes and fears, five of cups. Definitely a fear. You don't want to have to worry about, be concerned with, be emotional over. Maybe a third party situation. Maybe from the past with the three of swords here. Uh, you may be hesitating making decisions right now with the five of cups. And that's why it's a hopes and fear. Definitely a fear. You don't want to make the decision. But the outcome is beautiful. It's the Ace of Pentacles. It's a partnership. Taking a situation and relationship to the next level. Engagement. Moving in together. Making a big purchase. Buying a home. Renting an apartment together. Just really solidifying a bond here. Business. A new start of a business here. This is really, really good energy. It looks like you got to get past some some, res some residual energy. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah, definitely third party. The Empress is here also. Who's the Empress? The Eight of Pentacles. Could have been someone that you work with or someone that maybe a partner of yours worked with. The Eight of Pentacles here. Um, They were... If this was an affair, they were really trying to build with this person, or vice versa. You were trying to build with this person. Seven of Swords, Four of Cups. Looks like someone's devising a plan of action, not taken to any offers. Maybe an offer extended from you to an air sign. They're not taken to it. They're bored. They're trying to devise a plan of action to possibly move out of a certain situation. What's the chariot? Five of Swords. Uh, someone's moving forward. And victory, will of fortune here or sits on top of you, the king of cups. Chariot, someone's trying to get in control of a situation, but not without doing that verbal sparring, that battling. Definitely dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the five of swords, four of swords, three of swords, seven of swords. All right, what's the four of swords? Queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Three of Wands or the Five of Cups. Definitely third party. Someone's putting partnership behind them. Looking out into the horizons. Worrying about self. Concerned about self. Waiting for their ships to proverbial come in. Um, 
Knight of Wands and the outcome. Looks like you'll be dealing with a fire sign or you're moving fast toward this new solid beginning with the Ace of Pentacles there. All right, it looks good. You just got to get through the residual energy of, you know, do the verbal battling with this person that's being sneaky and trying to devise a plan of action behind your back, Pisces. Oh, forewarned is forearmed, right? All right. Um, know that this person, you know, they've got their own agenda in this in this situation. Uh, have yours, you know. That's all you really can do. All right, let's do another love spread for another set of Pisces. True, accurate messages for Pisces. Love messages for Pisces. Messages of messages to govern and guide. All right. Eight of Wands. Rapid communication, things moving fast. Could be dealing with an air, uh, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be having communication about the trouble in your relationship due to the jealousy and or greed. Yeah, the moon is here. Things are moving fast. Things seem to be moving fast. But I'm feeling like some of you don't know which way it's going. This is your card, Pisces, or you're governed by the moon. Um, Yeah, you don't know. Things are moving fast, but it's still a bit of unknown. There's some secrets. There's some lies. Strength, but you're having the strength to get through this. You're having the courage to move forward. The tower is here in the out in the present. In the past was the hermit. Some of you went within to gain clarity. Answers. How can I move in this situation? What if, what have I done in the past? The tower is here in the present. Old paradigms, old ways of thinking, old situations, faulty foundations being crumbled by the universe because it's about time near future two of pentacles laying up two options two physical manifested material options these aren't you know things you're thinking of these are things here and now and now you're weighing up the two options which way should i go what should i do okay four of swords eight of cups some of you are going to engage in prayer meditation so that you can muster up the strength to physically move away, uh, emotionally check out. All right. External to you is the Two of Cups. Nice. So a mutually, um, a mutually uh, agreeable relationship could be business partnership could be love two of cups could be a cancer pisces scorpio your hopes and fears is the chariot you want to get in control of this situation and move forward the outcome is the ten of pentacles the outcome in the last spirit was the ace of pentacles ten of pentacles now some real solid energy i just feel like once you move past the residual energy of trying to get out of one situation and stay out of it and not keep going back then the universe can move you to some solid energy they can move you to a place where um uh, you need to be the devil on top of the ten of pentacles could be dealing with the capricorn or you could just have um a third party in your already established relationship um it could be toxic here it could be uh some addictions it could be some manipulation it could be oh it could be so many different things see it's the two of pentacles knight of pentacles nice an offer comes in slow moving could be capricorn virgo taurus but an offer comes in there's a card flipped over and the deck the four of cups again so i think you pisces you're not taking to any offer any offer that is extended to you you're tired i think you get it now um maybe in the recent past you didn't get it two of wands on the two of cups yeah love is elsewhere you just got to make the move the hierophant on the chariot move closer to stability to traditionalism to grounding yourself in a ritualistic way if that's spiritual getting more spiritual spiritually aligned uh speaking to a spiritual counselor um uh, 
but it'll give you an opportunity to move forward in victory and effortlessly. All right, strength, the emperor. Yeah, getting in control of things, um, taming yourself. Let me double with uh, a Leo or an air, air or fire sign. Um, very dominant tower, eight of pentacles. Maybe there is something that crumbles down for you at work or in work. The king of swords. Um, you work, maybe you work with a partner. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so you work with someone in the legal profession, not an attorney, uh, judge, uh, sheriff, someone really high up um, who makes, you know, really sound decisions in their profession. Page of Cups and a Hermit in the Past. So messages of love in the past, but you were really trying to figure things out. Six of Pentacles, the lack of equality, reciprocation, uh, problems in a marriage, second relationship, second marriage. Didn't have to be second, but definitely problems here. Uh, Pisces, it looks like once you get past, like I said, the residual energy. I mean, it's like you don't want to be one foot in, one foot out. Just move forward. Don't go backwards. Move forward. You can... Um, You'll, you'll come into a sense of, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? You'll come into a sense of, um, you know, establishing a new foundation, a new solid foundation. Right now your foundation is not solid. Um, hence the tower. Um. Hence, all of the um, indecision cards, the third party, and those types of energies there. Um, you've got to move forward. Don't move backwards. All right. Ace of Spades for your career and finance. Career and finance for Pisces. An ending, new beginning here. Some of you um, will have some reversal here, some indecision from outside interference here. Ten of club, unexpected money. Also laying down a burden, unexpected good luck here. Seven of hearts. The reason why all of the energy is going like this is because... We have an unfaithful spouse, someone who gives broken promises. It would be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In the recent past, your psychic abilities were heightened toward the opposite sex. And there was prosperity and um, a sense of moving forward. But still, you had your side eye on maybe an Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Near future is your energy, the king of hearts, All right? Emotionally grounded, open to receiving love, holding your cards close to your chest. Your power is the queen of diamond, making solid decisions, being a good wife or good mother, or if not, if not a wife or mother, definitely taking on those qualities. Yeah, Pisces, it looks like, okay, external to you is a five of hearts. Someone's grieving a third-party situation. It looks like you're making some really solid money uh, decisions, some some really good uh, money coming in, unexpected money also. This could be an interrelationship, ending or beginning or ending into a career eight of spades in the hopes and fears so definitely you fear being caught you know stuck in your head the roundabout of, of thoughts going over a situation uh, over yeah, and over yeah. you know king of 
king of spades. Definitely could be a marriage here. Your power is the queen of diamond. And then the king of diamond is here. And the outcome. Eight of club. Trouble in relationship. Nine of spades. Two of hearts. Six of clubs. Some of you could be having success in your business. I think some of your businesses are tied in with your partner. Uh, and that's the big issue here. Some of your your financial dealings is really tied in with your, your partner. Um, there's trouble in the relationship, so you... You have some anxiety, some anxiety about how things can go in your in the career in the finances. You want out of a relationship, or you're walking away from a relationship, but at the same time, there same time there are business dealings with this situation in this situation. But money looks good. Money is coming in. There could be an ending of one situation. Could be a relationship or. Uh, a career or, or business um, but you're concerned about that because um, your partner is also in that business with you or has some right to that business let's get some additional messages for Pisces messages for Pisces truth our relationship dynamics here yeah. forgiveness mm -hmm. self-employment yeah. volunteer emotions bottom of the deck sobriety relationship dynamics the relations the dynamics of, of a certain situation have changed maybe due to the fact of someone entering a relationship exiting a relationship um people growing apart and not growing together uh, i did see divorce and separation there needs to be healing and forgiveness here in the midst of um the divorce and separation forgiveness either you need to ask for forgiveness Pisces or you need to forgive someone else someone needs forgiveness from you self-employment we did see that um, ace of Pentacles uh, new start of a business or new start of a way of making money uh, self-employment so if you're thinking about self-employment is definitely something you should be it is confirmed here in the cards um, do what you need to do to take the next step to get here if you're not already here. Uh, if you are here, know that self-employment is where you need to be. Be concerned with it because it's concerned with you. It looks like there'll be some unexpected money and a, and a, a flow of money coming in also. Volunteer if you can. Uh, some of you are going through certain situations, divorce, separation, um, dealing with so many different emotions. Uh, you need an outlet, volunteer, and you also can gain knowledge of um, whatever you volunteer for. It's, it might be a new career for you. So volunteer, emotions do uh, play a part in all this newness for you and this decision making and, and the, the uh, effort to move forward and move forward in victory. A uh, sobriety is at the bottom of the deck. Not only does sobriety, of course, talk about sobriety of from uh, chemical substance, but sobriety of the mind. What are you thinking about daily? What are you, what are you heavily thinking about? What are your, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, you know, your thoughts manifest. Well, so what are you thinking about on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, what is the mental anguish about? You need to clear your mind. Clear your mind. So sobriety of the mind, of course, sobriety from chemical substance. So if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. 
All of my information is below. You can reach me for a personal reading on Instago. Um, email me. My email address is below. Follow me on Instagram. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Uh, yeah, just take advantage of uh, what you think is best for you. Personal reading is always the best. I remember Pisces, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you guys, so pray for me as well. Take care.